welcome back to my salon's youtube channel so today i thought i would um show you around the salon i know you've seen a little bit of it from my other videos um but i wanted to show you an in-depth look at my salon um what kind of products i use and where i store everything since it is a small space so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do like it go ahead and give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe for more videos which i will be posting really really soon and let's get started so this is my salon i'm just gonna do a little pan around um so this is like um right in the front of the salon this is the entrance so i'm gonna start over here so this is my reception area and i have my license on the wall there my salon license and here is my reception desk and then over here in this little corner i have some fun plants some cute little plants because the whole point of my salon is like a spa so i have lots of greenery and all those are fake but they look really nice and i love them so this is reception area have a nice little wall shelf there with a big e the salon's name is effect studio salon so i got this reception desk from home depot and it's actually a bar um but it worked perfectly as a reception table so then over here i have <laughs> my dog kaya being a good girl this is the hair cutting like the styling chair and styling kind of corner so i have a big mirror there have a trolley back there that has wheels on it and it does move but it's like i just leave it there i don't move it most of my products here are euphora so i'll show you some of these these are awesome i love euphora products um and then i have some olaplex products and the new olaplex oil some redkin styling products and i just most of these back here are euphora and then I have some redkin some chi but those are the products I use for styling. So this is my salon chair, like styling chair. You can see it's a little bit stained because I decided to go with white, which was a bad idea. And you know, hindsight is 2020, so it's a little bit stained. But I'm gonna see if I could figure out a way to get it all cleaned up. And then I have my little mat on the floor. So this is the view from like the inside of the salon. So over there I have my coffee station with some shelves and I have um so i'll zoom in over here so i have a keurig some sugar some cute mugs some coffee and then i have some storage baskets in there and this little ottoman chair lounge thingy is from at home and so the the theme of the salon like i said earlier is like a spa so i have lots of greenery and then a hint of uh, like a baby blush pink so I have that little rug down there I think I got that one at Target and those pillows are from at home and then up there is just a fireplace that's an electric fireplace and it actually um, has heat to it so um, I don't have it on right now so I love this accent wall and I have it on both sides love that so then we're moving back towards the back of the salon and don't mind my little blanket there so that door leads to a storage space back there and it is really cold in there and the cold comes in so i have that there this right here is um just a big thing of storage so these are alex drawers from ikea so these are the long short ones and i have three of them stacked on top of each other and my dad did screw them together so they don't fall so up in these up here i don't have anything up here um but i have lip products in here but this is like the makeup that i use on clients so i have i have everything in here because i don't have a lot and these drawers are humongous so there you can see some of the products that i have and then in this one i have tools and like cleaning brush cleaning things some sponges some lip gloss things so just down here i have tools and here are my brushes and those are all clean and then in the second unit right here in the middle this is my nail um nail storage unit so some of these are empty because there's just a ton of storage um and these are too small for nail containers so these are acrylic powders um and dip powder so dip nail powders are the same as acrylic so i just call it acrylic powder so these are all colored acrylic um i need to get more of these but these are fun fun start these are all um Kiara Sky, I think it's how you say it. And then I have a few of these Revel Nail ones. And then these are from Nova Nails Inc. And 
and where are these? And then I have a few Glam and Glitz. And I think this is the, oh yeah, the jelly. I don't know how to say this, the so jelly. I have a couple of those too. But a majority of these are Kiara Sky, which I, I really like them. They're really nice. And then in this one, I have my gel polishes. So you can see, like, I need to get some sort of organizer that goes in here to hold the polishes. Because every time I open and close, they just move. It's really annoying. But these are my gel polishes. Um, a majority of these are Kiara Sky, or however you say it. Um, I have some gelish ones. And a few of these sensational ones. Wow, that's not very, very helpful. I have some OPI. And I think that's yeah. Most of these are these are the old jellish bottles. And then these are the new ones. I like the new ones better, but um, I have a ton of different colors. Let's see in there. And have them all in there because I have swatches of those. So in this drawer I have just regular polishes. Um, I did get a bunch of this Kiara Sky, and I have a lot of these that are matches with the um, the gel polishes, so I use these. Like, these are great for, like, pedicures, and then the gel polish for the manicures. I have a bunch of Essie polishes. These are one of my favorites. And then I also have, oh, there's more Kiara Sky. We have some fresh paint. These are the polishes from Five Below, which are surprisingly really awesome. I have some L'Oreal ones, uh, these are OPI, mm, I have some of these Love and Beauty polishes, and these are Fresh Paint, um, and then I have these little striper ones, these are from Sally's, I have a bunch of these, these striper ones, and then I have just some pedicure sandals in here that I use sometimes and then down here this bottom one I just have styling tools so uh, my two prong clips and um, bobby pins and my daughter got into these so they're all like messed up but these are like the little rubber bands and then I have bobby pins and hair pins but that is all the stuff that I have in these giant Alex drawers so then back here, like I said, that's storage back there. And then this is my manicure nail area. So those tables are Alex drawers from Ikea. And that's a tabletop from Ikea, Ikea chair. And then that chair back there is from a salon supply store, like supply, salon furniture. There you go. So back here, I have my e-file. have some nail tips that I didn't put away. So in this drawer, I have all of my nail tips. I have some from Nova Nails. And these are just the French white ones. And then these are the C&D ones. It's just regular. I have two of those. I have this little box. So I have a ton of nail tips. And then I also have these, which are the swatch sticks. I have my little manicure thing. Um, I don't have anything in this drawer, but and then in this top drawer, I have files and buffers, um, just a bunch of random stuff. I love these little, these are little individual blocks, and they're disposable, which is perfect. So I have over here my drill bits, um, some alcohol, my brushes, so these are my gel and acrylic brushes, and then my um, striping and like art brushes back there, so my acrylic monomer, cotton balls, and my little lamp up here. So this table is a little busted. Um, and then over here I have cuticle oil, some polishes, um, a little thing. I have usually cotton balls in there, some oil and a lotion. And then on this side is where I have my tools. So I have a ton of stuff in here. This is like my metal implements, some primers and such, um, cuticle sticks. These thingies are awesome. They're for like removing. Um, Enhancements so you put like a, a kind ball in there and then you put that on the finger and then extras So a lot of extra stuff back there And this one I have my main acrylic. So um, these are all the C and D Acrylics will have white clear and um, The pink so this is the pink one 
and then I have a ton of these from Nova Nails. These are their cover paint, cover acrylics. I'm gonna have more back here. So these back here are acrylic, colored acrylic, more for like nail art stuff, like 3D art. And then right here in the front, I have my um, dip products. So all the tools that I need for dip. So in this front little corner here, I have um, some poly gel that I bought off of Amazon. I haven't used any of it yet, but I have it here and I wanna play around with it a bit more before I offer it in the salon. And then I got the, um, the starter kit from Jellish a while back, like two years ago. Um, and that's what these are from Jellish. So that's the starter kit, but these, um, what's it called? McCart, I think is what it's called. I got these on Amazon, these little ones. Then in here, I have more art related things. So I have some tools here, some gold foil and silver foil. We have some uh, like art brushes, little palette some flowers all these here are glitters there you go. so there's some snowflakes in here but most of these are glitter these are stamping um thingies and then back there i have some foils more foils a stamper this is for those foils we have some um rhinestones and things and then i have a ton of rhinestones here more rhinestones so a lot of rhinestones and then glitters in that one as well and then these are the caviar beads those little tiny caviar beads so that's that one and then here i have more glitter so these are chunkier glitters love these i just got all of these from amazon and then some small small glitters and then some gel paints so I have a ton of colors of these gel paints, which are so fun. I haven't used any of these yet, but I am excited about it. These are striping tapes. And then I have this thing of striping tapes as well. And then I have some of my own acrylic um, glitter mixes. So I just made those from like a couple years ago. So these are art and glitters. Oh, and this thing right here from McCart, also from um, Amazon, these are blooming nail gel polish sets. So it's like that um, alcohol based paint and it like separates and it looks really cool. So I'll have to try that at some point. And then just a big giant bag of cotton and some extra nail clippers. In this back corner here, I have um, acetone and then 100% acetone, pure acetone, a dust collector, my UV lights, in this drawer, I have more acetone. I think back there was maybe alcohol, some polished dryers. We have first aid kit. Um, that's a fan from Avon. This is another LED light and another nail dryer. Probably I could probably throw that out. And then down here is my extras for waxing. So I have big giant sticks. Those are the um, strips a roll of more strips some little sticks some extra um wax the little skirt thingy and then another thing of wax so up here is just a white cabinet and i got that at ikea i love it it's so nice and it opens up like this and i have all of my clean towels for manicures and pedicures and then on the wall there on little clear hooks are my swatches. So these up here are my regular polish um, swatches. These are dip powder or acrylic swatches. And then these are my gels. Um, and I have all of those on display so clients can grab it and look at what they want. So right here in the middle is my pedicure station. So this um, is from Art of Business and all of my salon furniture is from Art of Business and I love this. It's not white, it's like a cream color. I wanted all my furniture to be white because it's pretty dark down here and we don't have a lot of natural light coming in so I didn't want to make it super dark but I love this chair. This is what it looks like and that's just ugh, my little manicure trash can back there. But I love it. It's a massage chair and it's a pipeless unit so I love that. Um, it's really easy to clean. It's very nice. And then I have my little cart for the pedicure station. And then I have this big thing of 
um, foot scrub and I got this hat on Amazon. It smells really nice. It's eucalyptus. So in this first drawer, I have um, a foot soak and then I have some lotion and some pedicure stuff, so callus treatment, cuticle remover, some callus, um, some foot stuff from Avon. Um, I have an oil back here, so this is kind of like similar. This is a lavender one. And then I have some callus softener, some lotion. I have some regular clear polish here. And then um, I just have one of these here, but I have a ton more that I have to like refill. But these are like disposable pumice stones. I have more of these um, cuticle sticks, some disposable nail files, some disposable buffers and base coat i should go back there so i have to like restock this um, and then the second one i have the liners for the pedicure um bowl and then i have some hot stones that i just bought um, stones for hot stone massages i have my sensation nail um, uv light or led light for gel pedicures um this is i think this is trash toe separators and these little nail file like foot file things that go with this little buffer that I bought on Amazon I don't really use that as much and then in the last one I have um extra stuff so there are my like extra pumice stones I have a ton of files here more of those foot file things toe separators back here are the um pads for paraffin wax and then that's the plastic bags for the paraffin and paraffin refill and i don't even have my paraffin machine out here it's in storage right now because i haven't needed to use it so this is the last section i'm going to talk about i have a clear chair here a little poof for relaxation so there's my shampoo unit and um i actually got that one and my um styling chair the same and i love it, it has like gems on it it's beautiful so this is my shampoo area, and then this is my backwash, back bar, shampoo bar, color bar, whatever you want to call it. So starting over here, this whole unit is one piece, goes all together, and I love the white bowl, and it goes up and down. And then back here, I have my shampoos and conditioners. So I have obviously Olaplex, some tea tree oil for dandruff, um, Euphora, exfoliating treatment for men. Um, this is the conditioner. So back here behind my Olaplex treatment, I have the macadamia oil deep repair mask, the Moroccan oil restorative hair mask, and the Moroccan oil intense hydrating mask. So I love those. Um, and I have those there for treatments. And then my Olaplex goes right in front. Um, this is conditioner, the Dominican Magic uh, conditioner. This is Bioterra conditioner. I have my purple shampoo and conditioner from Redken. This is the color Extend Blondage. Uh, I have this Sugar Shine System. So this is just a like a scalp scrub, polishing hair scrub. Um, I have not used that yet. And then I have my uh, clarifying shampoo from Paul Mitchell. I have um, the Biolage Color Last Conditioner. I have it upside down because I only have a little bit left of that. And then up here I have my Olaplex number four and number five conditioner shampoo. And then the ones that I've been using on my color clients are Redken Color Extend Magnetic. So this is a sulfate free shampoo and it smells amazing. I love it. So those are my shampoo and conditioners that I have out and that I use all the time. And then next shelf here, I have my waxing station. So I have my little Gigi pot and it's just a one pot thingy. And I have wax in there and my little, little shelf thing. All of my tools here, so I have tweezers, um, eyebrow, like a spoolie brush, um, little eyebrow scissors, and then I have eyebrow pencils, witch hazel for cleansing, and then oil, this is the remove, it's like an oil to remove any residue. I have a little mirror there. And then in these containers, I think I got these at Walmart, and I have another one over there by the nail stuff. These are, so these here are the strips, and then, the sticks which I cut in half and then over here I'm supposed to have cotton rounds I need a stock um, and then I have this pack of unopened sticks and some extra of the, the strips so this last shelf here is my 
developer and bleach shelf so over here i have the matrix developer so 10 30 and 20 and 40 back there these are the ones that i use mainly so i have those in the front and then right here in the middle i have the redkin shades eq this is the gloss to gel and um, that's just the regular processing solution and then this is just clear so back there i have the redkin developer in 20 volume and that's for the bleach that i have so i use that with the flash lift from redkin this is one of my favorite lighteners this is the ion color brilliance so for this ion color brilliance uh, lightener i have its corresponding developer so i have 20 and 30 and then 40 back there and then of course i have my olaplex right here with the bleach and then here on the floor i just have a big old tub of dominican magic shampoo and conditioner so i have these here i haven't gotten around to depotting those and putting them in a pump so that's that so this here is my color bar and i have a little tiny sink a pretty good amount of um counter space so i have a little plant there so this thing is full of uh barbicide for my nail tools have that on there have pens here and a notepad to take formula notes on um, small brushes here and then larger hair brushes here Oops. and then barbicide thing there i have another one of these cabinets from ikea it opens up and here i have my towels for hair stuff in this first drawer here i have all of my toners and then all my tools so i love using the shades eq toner so i have them all from lightest to darkest which is this one one which didn't fit in my little containers um and then i have color bottles measuring cups bowls uh, measuring for the bleach more bowls i have some um color thingies what are these called I can't think of what they're called i have some of those there and then in the second drawer i have my actual color and these always fall down so um this is my stock right now i use matrix so color um i'm also using the matrix um what are these called cult so color cult which are the like fashion colors and then i have some extra stuff over here these are like additives and then a few of my euphora colors that i um have not used in a long, long time so i only have two of those um and then in here i have opened containers of color and then over here in the boxes are ones that are not open um so that i can keep track of what i need to buy and use up the tubes that are already open so the way i have these organized as far as my like actual hair color goes i have lightest up here all the way to darkest so right now my darkest is six and a but i have um a big range here that i have from like one to five um but right now this is where i'm at with my closed ones and then in here i have lightest colors to darkest colors over here so this one's like a, a one n so the latest i have is an 11 n so that's how i organize those and then in this last drawer i have more tools so i have gloves foils um cholesterol and then i have um more fashion colors in this little box here and then more foils color color bottles more gloves and that's basically it for this one and then in the cabinets here i have extras so in that back basket i have developers and such that i don't really use so right here in the front i have some ion developers for my bleach i have two of those more i have another i have an extra shade eq processing solution i have an extra gloss to gel um an extra 10 volume 30 volume from matrix these are vibricide wipes love those another thing of redkin flash lift and 20 and 30 developer for that bleach um, this is conditioner, barbicide spray for my clip or clipper side spray for my clippers and brushes. Um, barbicide back there, alcohol, and a multi purpose cleaner. And that's all the stuff that I have down here. Next up is the bathroom. Sorry for the fan noise, but I have to have the light on. So, this is the little bathroom. I have a little cute sink some plants and things it's basically it here for the bathroom so that's gonna be it for my salon tour i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos which i will be posting more very soon and i will see you guys in my next one bye